Game of Thrones star Peter Dinklage is infamous in his role as Tyrion in the hit HBO show, but his life wasn't always easy, and in today's video, we learn the importance of commitment to overcome failure. Most today know Peter Dinklage as a hugely successful star of the hit TV show Game of Thrones, portraying Tyrion Lannister and becoming one of the most popular characters in one of the most popular shows in history. Even if not a fan of Game of Thrones, you've probably heard of or seen Peter Dinklage in films such as Elf or the X-Men films. However, his life hasn't always been easy, from having had to overcome failures of landing roles to almost giving up entirely on his acting career, he has had to deal with multiple setbacks to achieve success today. Today's video will be focusing on how he managed to overcome failures and challenges in his life to achieve what he has today. If you find today's video of value then please share this video with your friends, like the video to let me know you've enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, as otherwise YouTube may not notify you of the latest uploads. Now before we look at the reasons Peter Dinklage overcame failure, let's understand a little about what he had to deal with when a young aspiring actor. He had big dreams of what he wanted to do, where he wanted to go and who he wanted to be. When young, he left home to go to New York to try and work towards his dream of being an actor in movies. There, he would spend time sleeping on the couches of friends until he would overstay his welcome, all to try and get a break and get into acting. Despite not wanting to work in anything other than acting, he soon found himself in a situation needing work and got a job dusting pianos to earn enough to get by. From here, he took other jobs and would move about from different lines of work, which served no real purpose other than to distract him from his dream. He thought he'd finally found some stability by being able to afford an apartment where he could stay, but found himself back at square one when his roommate had a breakdown and disappeared. This repeated cycle of finding jobs and searching for homes lasted two years, before he finally found some stability in finding work. Here, he worked in application processing as a data entry clerk, a job he stayed in for six years. He was popular, but he hated the job and clung to it in desperation of making a living. He was terrified to leave his job. At age 29, his mindset changed once and for all. He made the commitment that regardless of the role, he would be a working actor. He started out in a low playing theatre role, from which momentum grew as he got cast into roles in films, leading to more opportunities. From that moment on, he's been an actor and hasn't looked back. From here, you can appreciate and understand that Peter Dinklage when younger wouldn't have aspired to becoming a star in one of the most popular shows in the history in Game of Thrones, but as circumstances changed, you saw how he realised that dream. So what factors contributed to him overcoming his struggles and failures when younger? Number 1. He committed fully to his dream. Peter Dinklage grew success at the age of 29, despite having a job which earned him a living. Until that point, he had been searching for stability as opposed to chasing his initial goal as an actor. It was at this stage we saw the man go from job to job and couch to couch to fully committing to his goal to becoming an actor who stars in theatre, TV and movies. This commitment meant starting small and accepting jobs that may not have been too appealing, but it was the point which effectively got his foot in the door. The fact is, this process was one of committing wholly and fully to becoming an actor. There wasn't any hesitation anymore, but rather a definitive decision this is his career path. This is fundamental to anything in life when looking to achieve success. You might have a job to earn a living, but if you're working towards a dream, you need total commitment to achieving the desired result. Number 2. He used the principle of compounding interest. The second point is that Peter Dinklage used the idea of compounding interest to grow his career. Now normally the term compounding interest is used in finance, but is equally applicable in other aspects of life. The basic principle behind compounding interest is that when you invest, the interest of those investments accumulate for a long term gain. In the case of Peter Dinklage, this was in how he grew his career, starting small and taking low paying theatre jobs, from which he gained opportunities that allowed him more roles, experience and growing relationships. Many of these might not have been a big score, but they added up over time as he developed more experience and effectively authority in the industry as an actor. In life, we're often searching for the one big score or the moment that changes our lives. 
For most, this never comes and has a large element of luck for those who have the privilege of getting it. However, for many who grow success, their growth comes by adding up the little wins, which in turn has a snowball effect as they grow, as with them the opportunities grow too. Number 3. He overcame his fears Peter Dinklage has had to overcome fear to work to where he is today. He's had to take risks and with them came fear. The thing is, fear is an inevitable part of embarking on the unknown and the uncertain and if you want to live a life where you succeed and dream big, fear is going to play a part in it. Peter Dinklage was terrified at the point of committing to his dream. He had finally gotten some level of stability in his job and apartment and now he was gambling it all for a career in acting. However, you have to overcome the fear of failure and the unknown if you want to live the life you choose for yourself. Our brains are wired to protect us and fear is a mechanism for self-preservation. In our world today, we know our fears aren't likely to be life or death situations and so it's important to sometimes override our natural feelings and take the step forward to feeling fulfillment. I've got an upcoming video on how to deal with fear using Mel Robbins' 5 second rule, so keep an eye out for that to learn proven techniques to overcoming fear. Number 4. He refused to settle Peter Dinklage at age 29 had some stability, he had an apartment, he had a job and he could afford a living that previously he simply wasn't able to afford. For him, he didn't have to worry about surviving day to day, so why pursue acting? Simply put, he never lost sight of why he moved to New York, why he slept on couches of friends and why he spent years struggling to just survive. He refused to settle with his circumstance because he knew that wasn't where he wanted to be or what he wanted to do. He didn't go to New York to process applications and he refused to settle living a life where he hated his job and living a life that he felt had little meaning. The majority of us live a life that we don't wish or choose because more often than not we choose to settle. We decide that our job or life is okay as it is, even if it's not what we want because it's comfortable. Peter Dinklage was comfortable, but he didn't want comfort but instead wanted his dream, to be an actor and he refused to let his comfortable life stop him from getting that. Number 5. He developed relationships with people in the industry Going briefly back to the idea of compounding interest, when Peter Dinklage committed to acting by taking a small theatre role for little pay, he developed a relationship with the director and the writer of the play who later cast him in a small film production he had written and directed. From there, he developed more relationships with other stars, writers and directors. What at first might have appeared as a small role gave him the references and the relationships he needed to then progress through the industry. And this principle works in any industry. Networking, as it's known in business, is the act of building relationships with people to grow opportunities, influence and authority in an industry. Anyone who has used social media will be aware of this very notion, as in order to grow any form of social media, people must first connect with one another. In the case of Peter Dinklage's acting career, his ability to build relationships to people in the industry gave him an opportunity to grow and develop into a higher profile roles in films and on TV. Number 6. He took action Possibly the most important point is Peter Dinklage succeeded in the pursuit of his dream because he followed through and took the necessary action to succeed. He left home to pursue his dream, he took acting roles, he spent time building relationships, he didn't let fear stop him and he overcame multiple hardships and failures, making them stepping stones on his path to success. If you want to do anything in life, you need to actually do it. If you don't take action, your goal is nothing more than a daydream. So take action, starting small just like Peter Dinklage and work your way up one step at a time. Fundamentally, it was that moment at the age of 29 that Peter Dinklage changed his outlook in life from dreaming of being an actor to realising himself as an actor, starting out small but working his way up. Principally, if you aren't doing what you want to do then you cannot become the person you want to be. Peter Dinklage had suffered setbacks, failures and had fears, but he understood this and since then has gone on to becoming one of the most successful actors in the industry today. So let's hear the words of the man himself. The world might say you are not allowed to yet. I waited a long time out in the world, 
before I gave myself permission to fail. Please don't even bother asking. Don't bother telling the world you are ready. Show it. Do it. What did Beckett say? Ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail better. Check out more content on the channel that will help you get the most out of life by clicking on the links that will be displaying on the screen now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.